Hi, I am Dr. C. S. Muthukumaran. I am the pediatric and adult structural interventional cardiologist at Apollo Hospitals, Chennai. Today, I am going to talk on congenital heart disease, how we diagnose the heart disease in children, what are treatments available and what are latest technologies available to cure it. What is congenital heart disease? Congenital heart disease is basically a defect in the heart that babies are born with. Like having a limb problem, uh, you have a defect in the heart. So, everybody are uh, born normally with all the chambers formed. When they have a hole or a valve absent by birth, it is called congenital heart disease. Out of 1000 live births, 8 children are born with a heart defect and that is called congenital heart disease. How common is congenital heart defects? Congenital heart defects affects around 8 per 1000 as I told you already. So, if you take the population of India into account and the birth rate of India into account, around 2.5 lakh children are born every year with heart defects and most of them would require a form of surgery or intervention or medication to cure them. What are types of congenital heart defects? Congenital heart defects can be simple, major and complex. A simple defect can be like a hole in the heart or a valve will not be opening properly with only one thing is called a simple congenital heart defect. When they have uh, more than one defect like with a valve problem and also a hole in the heart, they are called major congenital heart defects. Sometimes where the heart will be shifted entirely from the to the right side or may not have a tube or the tubes may be you know switched over. So, this complex anatomy is called complex congenital heart defects. So, they can be simple, major and complex. What are symptoms of CHD? Congenital heart defects hap happens in children and they can present at different age, example birth or 0 to 5 or more than 10 year olds. So, what is the symptom in a newborn baby? The most commonest, most toughest job the newborn child does is feeding. So, baby will have difficulty in feeding, should be breathless to feed and also have profuse sweating and some babies can turn blue also. So, those are symptoms for a baby. If baby is around 0 to 5 years old, they can get frequent chest infection, they will not able to play well, they will feel breathless while playing and also they can turn blue while playing and occasionally children can complain of chest pain also. More than 10 year old children may have frequent chest infection and also they can have uh, chest pain, palpitations and breathlessness. These are the commonest symptoms. What are the causes of congenital heart disease? So, why do people get congenital heart disease? Why do the babies are born with congenital heart disease? Is there a problem with the family or is there a problem with the uh, mother? Actually, the most common reason is basically by spontaneous mutation that is something happens during the gene formation without a fault of anybody involved that is the most commonest one. The other reasons could be maternal diabetes. If the mother is having uncontrolled diabetes, it can affect the baby's heart. The maternal smoking and maternal alcoholism are the most commonest reason of having a heart defect. And moreover, fetal echo should be done for people high risk like you know people have uncontrolled diabetes, maternal medication, maternal diseases, they should have a fetal echocardiogram. So, after birth if in case then what we do is we do a normal echocardiogram, it is like a ultrasound which scans the heart and looks at different chambers and looks at the valves, the flow of blood and we diagnose the heart problem. Once we diagnose a heart problem by echocardiogram, then we are able to define what is the best treatment modality for these patients. How is congenital heart disease treated? So, it is important that we should give the right treatment for the congenital heart disease. Congenital heart disease can be treated in three ways, one is by medical management, number two is by intervention that is an angiogram without surgery, number three is open heart surgery. Many heart conditions that happen in children can be cured without surgery or intervention where I give some medicines, 
those small defects can close automatically and baby can grow to a normal individual. Does adult congenital heart disease require special treatment? Yes, adult or, or not like children, they are basically are grown into the heart disease. There can be two categories, either they should have had a surgery as a child and they grown out and they become adult with the heart disease. Those are the complex heart diseases, children who has to have further intervention or surgery as they grow up. Next good category is adults who have undiagnosed congenital heart disease and this is happening quite often. So, when they do diagnose it, then they will have extreme situation where there will be a matured heart disease where we have to have a specialized uh, team in intervening and treating this adult congenital heart disease patient. How can one reduce the risk of heart defect? This is a question many people ask me. Basically, first of all, do not get married within the relationship. When you, if it happens to any heart defects, not even the def heart defects, any birth defects can be seen in children who are getting married within the relationship. Number two is do not take any medication for mother particularly without the consensus of doctors. A lot of medications can cause heart defect in children, avoid smoking, strict diabetic control during pregnancy and also alcohol during pregnancy, those should be done from mother's side. So, viewers, today we talked about congenital heart disease. It is a major problem in a child, one of the commonest birth defect, but it is nothing to be scared of. A, number one is as I told you, we can prevent it by having a vigilant pregnancy time where you, mother is careful what she is taking and having a fetal echocardiography. And if in case the baby is born with a heart defect, nothing going to be really weighed off because we have different treatment modalities. We can cure the heart without surgery with simple intervention, baby can become normal for lifelong. Even open heart surgeries are very well done now with 99 percent success rate. So, prevention is always better. So, have a fetal echo or 20 week gestation. If in case the baby is born with a heart defect, still then the help is available and the baby's heart can be cured if we can see the doctor at the right time. So, make sure you see a pediatrician at every vaccination time, making sure they can pick up a heart defect at early stage that can prevent your baby from long term complication of a heart disease. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. If your child has any symptoms of congenital heart disease like breathlessness or failed to thrive or frequent chest infection, do not ignore it. See a pediatrician who can diagnose the baby to have a heart problem, refer to a pediatric cardiologist where an echo can be done and they can diagnose it early and treat it early. If you treat it early, long term complications can be avoided.